Hey, this is a match once again, and yeah, I know I'm in the bed doing this, but with the way things are in Texas, I'd rather be in the bed with the covers on and pills around me. Oh well. It may look more trashy, it may more look more lazy, I don't care. But I had two or so people ask me about the Mortal Kombat trailer. I fear why not. Just talk about it. Now, I'm a fan of the 1995 movie. And hey, if people like the trailer, it's fine. It's not going to take away from the fact that I can still enjoy the 1995 movie. It's obviously a movie that's trying to be even more serious and gory. That's cool. I have no problem. I don't have a lot of issues with that. I do have issues with the fact that people are now... Talking trash in the 1995 movie that now it's bad, now it's corny, now it's awful, now it's cheesy, now it's it's awful, it's awful. This is so much better. I'm like, right, well, teach their own. Like I said, if you like the trailer, that's cool. Honestly, this trailer didn't do anything for me. When it has a piece of dialogue where it's a birthmark, what do you mean? He was born with it. Well, no shit, Mr. Sherlock fucking Holmes. Thanks for solving the riddle of what the fuck a birthmark is. What do you mean? He was born with it. No shit. <coughs> now, I could assume, because I didn't see the movie, so I, this is not a review of the movie, folks. This is a review of the trailer. Maybe, because they do this a lot in trailers, they'll take a piece of dialogue here, and they'll take a piece of dialogue there, but then the trailer, they'll put it together. If that's the case, then it's a really bad job by the marketing team. Because you made your movie look kind of silly. By having a ridiculous piece of dialogue exchange. And if that doesn't happen in the movie, then again, you just made a detrimental, silly, ridiculous, stupid fucking dialogue exchange for no reason. Is maybe one scene, it's a birth bar. Then in another scene, 15 minutes later, oh yeah, he was born with it. You didn't even need that in the... You, you, could, you could use one or the other. You didn't need to use both in the trailer. People would get the meaning. So, either bad in the movie or bad marketing job. <clears throat> the end of the trailer, when Scorpion's like, get over here. It's more like... Get over here. I couldn't understand what he was saying. I'm sorry, it didn't have the power, the gravitas that that line should be achieving. When you're near the end of your trailer, you have Scorpion say the line. It was like, get over here. I'm like, what? Did you take the dick out of your mouth, Scorpion? So I could hear what the fuck you be saying? Yes, the 1995 film was more humorous. Yes, it didn't have blood yes some of the effects are not up to par like reptile <clears throat> but you know what this film isn't out yet and the effects are not up to par i'm sorry i'm tired of cgi blood and yes there have been plenty of films i've enjoyed with cgi blood but i'm getting sick and fucking tired of it i'm sick and tired of the fact of the cgi blood fakery use real practical effects it's not against the fucking movie laws. I just saw it the other day in a 2020 film called Freaky. Where literally, literally there was a scene where a person in shop class gets their fucking entire body split in half with a saw. And you see it all done practically. It's not against the fucking law. I've seen films with lower budgets do it. I saw zero zero practicality in this in this red band trailer well maybe they're saving it so you're saving the real practical effects for the movie but not for your trailer okay in the trailer you just decided to show all cgi gore cgi gore doesn't impress me much i'm sorry guys and gals cgi blood doesn't impress me why should cgi blood impress the fuck out of me why why does it impress you? That's my question. Why? That's not a condemn of your thoughts on that. That's a legitimate question. People don't put mad. This has blood in it. It's CGI blood. 
I love Rambo 4. There's CGI blood. But there's some real moments like when he rips the dice, throw it out. Stuff of that nature. When he slits the guy. And even I'm like, oh, I don't... Not all of it had to be CG blood, but there's some real... And again, I've dealt with it for a while, and I'm dealing with it for a while, but we're 2021, man. Can we get past this shit? I guess I'm honing in on that so much, because that's one of the main things people keep mentioning, why this is going to be so much better than the 1995 film. There's blood in it. Is that all it takes? Well, man, of course, it's more combat. Then you know what? I'd rather stick with the 1995 film that, based on what I've seen so far... Maybe the actual movie, it will be different. Maybe the actual movie, it will be better. Maybe the actual movie will be improved. None of these people seem to have any bit of charisma, any bit of presence. Bland, boring, and milk toast. While the 1995 film, I saw either charm, personality, color, fun... Even as simple as you comparing trailers, marketing. The marketing in 1995 film had an excellent piece of music. The music in this is very blasé, lame, and boring. I'm sorry, the music in this trailer... You watch the 1995 trailer today, it still pumps the shit out of me. You know, Mortal Kombat, you know, you want to beat the fuck out of the wall, the, your video game, the Nintendo, your cardboard fantasy, your balls. You want to beat the fuck out of the ceiling, beat the fuck out of the clock, beat the fuck out of your blanket, beat the fuck out of your, your dick, you beat the fuck out of your nose, beat the fuck out of your glasses. Just, ah, you know, there you go. You, you come in your pants, you beat the fuck out, the, you beat the cum out of your pants. You don't even need the fuck to wash the shit. You are you're so pumped up, you beat the cum that you came in your pants, you beat it out of your pants, and you just dry cleaned it with fists because you're so pumped up yeah you know here i didn't feel that i'm sorry cole who the fuck is cole cole trickle cole hauser no cole who the fuck is cole and i asked people and they go well he's some new guy some new character you know because more combat there's no amount of characters you could use as the lead that we need a brand new character how you know he's the lead? I just, I just get that feeling in the trailer. Because he's the one with the birthmark, or, you know, or the mark that people give when they're chosen. Like, who the fuck is Cole? Like, you, there's no one else you can use to be the lead? You gotta introduce a brand new character? I'd rather see fucking Striker with his fucking nightstick and backward cap than whoever the fuck Cole is. Cole? As in Cole for Christmas. But I see Cole Trickle than this. I just. Like who the hell is Cole? The actors. I'm sorry. Spaced on the trail. Maybe in the movie. They will surprise the hell. And more so. But I just seem lacking charisma. Lacking a presence. The gore. There's just too much CGI gore. I'm sick and fucking tired of it. We're in 2021. The CGI gore does not impress me much. I think I saw a horror comedy called Freaky with Vince fucking Vaughn. That had actual... Some of it was CG, but there was some practical gore. Well, maybe they're in the movie. Well, they didn't show a single one in the trailer. And you know how most trailers, they give everything away. <laughs> I'm not saying this did, but a lot of trailers do nowadays. I think the music is just severely lacking, and the colors, it's like, take the colors and mute it, dilute it a bit, like a lot of films of today's age, as if they want to be the next fucking Zack Snyder or something, or, and it just makes it look bland, it makes it look boring, it makes it look like a, eh, that bland feeling. Maybe because I got my film more combat when Scorpion's Revenge came out and I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with Scorpion's Revenge. 
the one positive the positive thing I'll say about the trailer I liked Scorp uh Sub Zero. Sub like his face. I liked the, the face of Sub Zero and anything he was doing, making a sword out of ice. He slices someone, okay, the idea of taking the blood, turn, freezing it, stabbing someone with it. Freezing someone's arms. Granted, Jax is a fucking idiot because he's standing there with a gun, right? And Sub-Zero has this, and he's standing there. And the whole thing is slowly... And he's still st standing there. Like, seriously, I, I mean, let me look at this again. I know you can't see it, but let me look back. How fucking long does he stay in there? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. <laughs> I think by 1,001, I'd be like, fuck this shit. No, he's just staying there. And he's just staying there. But what the fuck are you doing, Jax? Are you frozen in time? He's just staying there while he's done slowly is enveloped in ice. Even the 1995 film was did that better where it was quick. Sub Zero did that with the, the gun <laughs> quickly. No, Jazz Blue has a go to Okay, you can move now, man. Let go of the gun. Or at least to stand back or something. And, yeah, none of these actors are recognized. This director is his first film. Which Paul W. Sanderson, that was an early film of his, too. The first Mortal Kombat. I just... I mean, for people who want to say, automatically, this is better than the 1995 film. Well, I'm sorry, I'll take personality, fun, charm, personality, the music... Because a lot of music and movies aren't that great. Well, there's some exceptions, but compared to back to the day, it's a world of difference. It's super, super, super serious. World combat, super serious. It's people beating the fuck out of each other, and you want to see the fatalities. I get it. Stop fucking William Shakespeare is not. War and Peace. I'll say Sub-Zero and Scorpion, like, their costumes have no color either. You barely see yellow and Scorpion. But it's so fucking diluted that... You're, like, three steps away from being fucking black and white. Just a lot of... It's that whole filter thing with movies today. Raiden. Again, just looks bland. Jax. Even his fucking arms have to be CG. As shitty as Mortal Kombat Annihilation was, even Jax's arms didn't have to be fucking CG. Are you serious? I know that's Liu Kang, but for a second I thought he was Ryu from uh, Street Fighter. And then Scorp is like, get over here. What do you say? Get over here. There's no gravitas to that. Maybe, maybe it's a different take to the movie. I don't know. I don't know. It just. Kano, I guess he's part Superman. Uh, I actually shoot scissors. I guess that's in the game. Yeah, I know I'm not the most expert on Mortal Kombat, so I know I'm not one to talk. So, characters are pretty much some guy named fucking Cole, Sonya, Liu Kang, uh, Kano, Jax, which I'm trying to see, I'm trying to find this one shot of the whole group with the... Raiden. Yeah, so pretty much 
Lutano, Lutane, Kun Lao, Sonya, some guy named Cole, and Raiden, they go to Outworld. So I'm guessing Jax, he gets his arms fucked up at the beginning of the film. Jax will come in much later in the film with the cyber arms. Some of these guys fight in Mortal Kombat, of course. I don't know. Goro. I find it funny that Goro in 1995 was done for real and practical, but here Goro is CGI. And just means you go, okay, I don't know, man. Nothing about that impressed me much. I'm sorry. And all the fatalities, he's like, yeah, CG gore, I get it. You know, CG door, CG door, CG door. This doesn't do much for me. I'm sorry. CGI gore doesn't impress me nowadays. I wish I could be more excited like everyone else, but I'm just not. And just let's bland, typical... No personality, that's what I mean. I just feel no personality to it. There's no sense of... Ooh, it was more like... Hmm. Hmm. I did with some stupid dialogue. CGI gore. And I even the music in the trailer was like, eh, pretty blase music. And Cole. Like, who the fuck is Cole? He gives a shit about Cole. I'd rather have fucking Cyrax is the lead than some blank statement called Cole. Whatever. You know, thanks for watching. Take care. I'm sure people will be pissed. Just give my honest opinion. Later.